Hello YouTube, this is my iPod Touch and I will be doing some reviews on some apps, I guess. Telling you what to download if you want cool apps. Here's the eye handy level. It's strange though, it's just called level in USA. In Sweden it's called what the bus. You know. So you can do it this way and then tilt it like this. This does it like this, and you can also turn it this way, and it works this way. So, kind of cool. Definitely an app you want to download. Then we got Labyrinth 3D. This works this way. Fuck, I pressed the wrong button. All right, let's try that again. Obviously, you probably know what this is about. I don't need to go into any details, I think. Awesome app. This is a app bolt band. Made it. So, this is kind of the same ID. You play with this ball and you should get the stars and everything. And I'm kind of avoiding the boxes because, yeah, I'm a bad player, I guess. So you got a D, you get killed if you run into the boxes. We got the easy rider for the emailing. Like you can say, hey, send to mail. And it says, hey, down here. Like you don't need to use the little keyboard. So that's very handy. Very, very handy indeed. And yeah, let's fuck that and see what we got more. Disk usage. Tells the store itself, I don't need to say anything. We got the road signs. Swedish road signs. This is telling me cyclists. Or maybe mopeds. Yeah, mopeds. So, good way to learn the signs. We got, let's see here. Uh, Tunnel, also an app in the same near, and really hard to play like when you tilt the thing and only have one hand, so yeah. This tunnel gets more and more bendy, I don't know if bendy is a word, but it kind of gets more and more bended. You get the idea you should pilot this thing in the tunnel without hitting the walls and then you got I showed you road signs already Resident Evil 4 the actual game inside of your iPod I'm not kidding you, it really is Resident Evil 4 game This really really is the game I'm not I'm not fucking around and it almost looks as good as on PC you can walk with this thingy like see if you can hit someone probably not but yeah we killed one and you get the the thingy here. So cool game. You need to download that. Takes about sixty megs. And my fucking nose is running like hell, or running or whatever you wanna call it. So yeah, we obviously got AIM, 
America in Messenger or whatever it's called. Then we got planets. Planets you must know about. And I think it's soon time for part two, but I will do this. Here we got the times when the planets are visible. Here we got the map on what planets are visible. We only got two for today. We got the globe. We can browse the globe. Here's me on the red marker. Here's the moon. I always get this uh, like cold feeling when I was out. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. You can also like turn these around and mess with them. Neptune and Uranus. This got a big smudge over here. Big, big smudge. Anyways, I think I'm gonna make a part two now. Or actually, I could make all in one because I have time. I have about three minutes, so I could make all in one. Yeah, here's backgrounds. You can search for any type of background you wanna. Here's the most popular backgrounds. Let's search for guns. This is a cool background. I think I saved this one too. Dead easy to save them. That's saved. So now you know about that background. Tweet deck you should know of. This is from the actual thing in Stockholm like when trains arrive and stuff very cool app very handy because I live in Stockholm so very very handy you got web ra pod radio you got broadband checker for checking how fast your broadband is I don't know if you can see that. It's at 8 megabits because it's running wirelessly. And I think it's only running the B network. I don't think it's the G network because G would give me about 18 megabits. It would. I don't know. Shit happens. Here is the results anyway. Down on my iPod. Then we got, let's see here, Epic Fail. This is a cool software. Shows you a picture of fails. Really a must have, but the sad thing is that this does not have an internet connection when outside, so most of the apps don't even work outside. TV dot now shows me what's on the TV. I don't got any TV, but people always ask me what's on the TV, and I can answer. Close. Turn off. Go back. Back. Yeah, we got. Do not press the button. Do not press. Do not press. And it goes on and on like that. We got sketchbox. You can actually make pictures that good in this software, but I guess you need to register to get all the features. I guess so. So I can draw a ring.
off topic OT so that's a good software and press the button on the right side next time you try to do something you obviously got the standard apps that came with it and just for the hell of it AIM like you can go here Scrammy 18 Scrammy 18 same user but on my iPhone or iPod really a iPod it is iPod seeing no camera inside iPod even says iPod so that's my video YouTube